I just love peaches, and Kentucky is not the best peach tree growing state there is. We'll get a lot of late freezes and frosts, and it kills all the blooms. They bloom so dang early here in Kentucky. They're pretty blooms. And there's a moth that gets in there and lays an egg in the fruits, and there'll be a rotten spot in every peach. I had a friend tell me a while back about a natural thing to do on your peaches so the moths won't lay eggs in them. I don't like spraying chemicals on my peaches, but the way he does it, he takes blackstrap molasses, apple cider vinegar, and water, and he'll put it in the milk jug and hang it in the tree, and the moths are drawn to that, and they drown into the syrup and stuff, so that's what I do on my peach trees now, so I don't have to use all the chemicals. I'll mix you up a batch of it and show you what I'm talking about. These are the ingredients I'll need for my moth trap for my peach trees. I'll need a quarter of water, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, and a quarter cup of black trap molasses. I'll mix it all up in this gallon jug here, then I'll cut my hose before my moths go in. Just like this jug here, that's when my moths can go in and they drown themselves. We'll get it all mixed up and we'll get them hanging in the trees. Just a quarter cup of the syrup. And we'll get the quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Then we'll add it to a quart of water to it. Then we'll get them all mixed up and we'll get them in jugs. Get stirred up good. That way it gets it all in that vinegar and molasses get together. And I'll add my water to it. I got three of my jugs set up with my moth. Spray. I'm going to put them in my peach trees now and get them tied in there. That way I can have some good pieces come this fall. I got the jug in the tree now. We'll wait a couple of days and see how many I get. I got a couple more to put down through this orchard here. See if I can get me some good pieces this fall. Oh, this trap got a bunch of moths on it. Heck yeah. There'll be a lot of good pieces left on this tree. With no worms in them. Looking good. I'm going to go check one more and we'll see what it's got. This one's got a couple in it, but not as good as the last one. But every moth I catch is one that ain't laying eggs in my fruit. And I didn't have to spray them with no chemicals. Give me some nice pieces.